therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. In is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. And it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all the ungodliness. Someone say, against all the ungodliness. The wrath of God is revealed against to all the unrighteousness. The wrath of God is revealed against to all the wickedness and the evil. The wrath of God is revealed. Now, if I was to talk to each and every one of you, the reason as to why you came to the salvation, the reason as to why you gave your life to Jesus, all of you will have stories. I'm coming, I'm coming, just follow me. You are not in charge because you are a good person. It is the consummation of the wrath of God that made some of us to be here at a such a time. You knew very well, if I follow this thing, I'm going to find myself into destruction. So you had to run away from the evil thing and give your life to Jesus so that you may welcome the consummation of the love of God. It was the sin that you feared. It was the curse that suffered your people. It was that evil that you feared that made you to give your life to Jesus. I'm preaching now. There is something you watched destroy and pull down your family members. There is something you watched kill your people. There is something you watched wipe your friends and you say if Jesus can really rescue me from this then I'm going to give my life to Jesus for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life I decree and declare you will not perish because you believed in the son you will not perish because you believed in the gospel for Paul says the gospel is the power of God. Preach at the preach. It's through the gospel we experience the power of restoration. It's through the gospel we experience the power of putting what was lost together. I feel something is moving me already. So you are not here by accident. You are here because there is something you are trying to run away from from and there is nothing wrong with that praise the name of God when you watched how God could kill a billion people with the COVID-19 with tsunami the earthquakes everywhere and then you said if Jesus can preserve my life so I will run in the house of God and give my life to Jesus praise the name of God you watch people die HIV you white people die from that killer disease and you say if Jesus can really save my life so I'm going to give my life to Jesus what am I preaching about ladies and gentlemen I'm glad I confessed my sin it was the terror and the fear that you had over your life if I will not follow the ways of Jesus I may end up like my friends Jesus is the way the truth in the life and no one goes to the father but through him praise the name of God the victory you wanted to access can only be accessed through Jesus the breakthrough you are praying to access can only be accessed through Jesus Christ you people you are sitting behind here you will go and sit there behind you have another bad spirit tell your neighbor the victory they lost you will have it because because you have decided to believe in him there is someone they never believed in and you got somewhere you said I will believe in this person if this person can change where I come from so I will believe in him 
Uh, let me preach to people on this side. Praise the name of God. Maybe you are coming from a family whereby people die each and every year. And the only way to change this is to receive and believe in somebody who is more powerful to change that story. And that's why you are a spell breaker because of the person you believe in. Ah, some people here you are about to take good news to where you came from because of the person you are believing in tell your neighbor I'm a believer I believe in Jesus when I'm talking about Jesus I'm talking about Jesus who walked on water when I'm talking about Jesus I'm preaching about Jesus who opened the eyes of the blind when I'm talking about Jesus, I'm talking about Jesus who healed the woman with the issue of the blood. When I'm talking about Jesus, I'm talking about Jesus who raised people from dead. And you say to yourself, if Jesus can change this, so I'm going to believe in him so that I can have life and have life more abundantly. Give your neighbor high five and hold on to your neighbor, neighbor. I believe in Jesus. Say, I believe in Jesus. Say, I believe in Jesus. Do you know why your tomorrow will be greater than today? Your tomorrow will be greater than today because you believe in Jesus, not because of your education level, not because of your rich angle, but because you are a believer. I'm talking about Jesus. Someone say, Jesus made me the way I am. The car you are about to drive is not because of the papers you have. That is nothing. But because of the spirit of Jesus inside you. He became poor so that you can be rich. Ah, you are not here. Someone turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, neighbor, I am glad I confessed my sins and now I am in the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things shall follow you. Someone say the wrath of God is far away from me now because I'm a believer. Give somebody a high five and holler unto them neighbor. I'm far away from the wrath of God because I'm a believer. And now he says in the book of Revelation chapter number 9 from verses number 3 and there came out of the smoke the locusts unto the earth and they were given power power to strike those who don't have the seal of God what is the seal of God when the Bible talks about the seal of God it's talking about the truth of the word of God which is salvation someone say I'm saved say I'm sanctified say I'm filled by the spirit of God and I'm baptized by the fire of God that is the person who I am and there is nothing the devil can do to me somebody in this place you got to look the devil in the face and say hey you Satan there is nothing you can do to me I am saved by the blood of Jesus I am sanctified by the blood of Jesus I am filled by the Holy Spirit and I'm baptized by the fire of Jesus so the Bible says this creature was given the power to torment someone say to torment say 
again to torment. Say again to torment. Even as I'm preaching right now, there are people who are under attack of this creature. For the Bible says, man will seek death, but death will flee away from them. What will save you is the confession you made for with the heart the man believe and with the lips you confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord I feel like preaching now give somebody a high five and hold on to your neighbor neighbor I am glad I confessed my sins let the redeemed of the Lord say so I was a thief but I am glad I confessed my sin I was a liar but I'm glad I confessed my sin give your neighbor high five tell your neighbor neighbor I am out of danger because I confessed my sin I don't want nobody reminding me of where I was last month because where I was last month is not where I am today where I am today if anybody be in Christ Jesus he is a new creature the old is gone and the new has come give three people high five hold on to them I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I confessed my sins the same animals you are given power to have dominion over now you are afraid of them do you imagine a rat falling here if a rat will fall here everyone will run away ah if a tiger will enter this place right now people will urinate in their clothes if a snake will get here people will faint in this place but the bible says you are given dominion over the creeping creatures over all the animals ask your neighbor how can you be afraid